Cheers. Hi guys, and welcome back to what is not my kitchen. Things are looking a little bit different today. We've got our wonderful cameraman here. We're celebrating 100 subscribers with an Asian snack taste test. We may have a few special guests come joining us. Our cats are very excited about all of the Asian snacks that we have prepared. We took a big trip to TNT the other day and we tried to find some things that I definitely have not had before and mostly things you haven't had? Or have you had some uh, of these? I've had a few of these. Okay. But I'll just pretend that I've had some. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. So we did turn off the AC, so the background noise won't be weird, which means it's a little hot in here. So I'm feeling a bit parched. I think maybe we'll start with the drinks. All right, first drink that we've got up here is called Pakari Sweat. Pakari Sweat, sweat, sweat. It's an ion supply drink. It's a healthy beverage that smoothly supplies the lost water and electrolytes during perspiration. I'm perspiring, so this is perfect. Is it carbonated? I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Oh, it just smells citrusy. It's pretty good, you wanna try? Yeah. That's not even what I remember it tasting like. No? I kind of thought it was gonna be like Pedialyte, a little bit salty, but it's not. Oh, it's not, that's nice. Yeah, it is pretty nice. Maybe I should get some of these. You know, after the gym. Just kidding, we can't go to the gym. <laughs> after the living room? <laughs> okay, okay, Pokari Sweat, I see you. I like that. Are you still thirsty or do you want a snack? Let's give the other drink a try. Okay. Yeah. Milk is what? A, a liquid. <laughs> milk is a liquid. So this is Milkus. I have actually tried something like this before. Milkus is a milk and yogurt flavored drink. That's what it says. And from what I remember, it is carbonated. New feeling of soda beverage. Do you want to do the honors? <laughs> I don't know what that new feeling is. I just hope it doesn't explode. Okay, we're good. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, I don't remember. I'm trying to think of, it tastes like something else, but I'm not really sure. Okay. Let's see. Give it a try. It kind of tastes like cream soda. Milk cream soda. Maybe. Milk soda. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Maybe that's where cream soda comes from. Oh, like it pretty, is like creamy. Yeah, I like that. That's this is really good. It's like sweeter yeah. than a normal cream soda, like a crush. Remember those from, from the 90s? Maybe they're still yeah. thing. Yeah, it's good. That is good. Okay. I've got lots of different snacks here. Sweet, salty, spicy, everything. Where do you want to start? All right. I'll go on this one. Oh yeah, I'm excited for these. Actually, the packaging is really nice. These are Mala Fish Skin crispy, crunchy, I don't know what this is, but it says hot and spicy, and made with real salted egg. That sounds like so everything. I'm curious to see if it's like a chip that's flavored, or yeah. is it really a fish skin? Yeah, that's what I want to know too. The picture kind of looks like it is going to be a fish skin, almost like a pork rind or a chicharrone, but a fish skin. Yeah. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, it smells spicy. Oh. Whoa, it is like a fish skin, if we can see inside. All right. Wanna try? Ooh, it smells good. Cheers. <laughs> it's spicy, but not too spicy. It's definitely got that mala heat. A little tingly. I can taste that star anise, it's nice. It's definitely got a similar taste like a, like a pork rind or something. Mm -hmm. So according to the, the ingredients, it actually is fried fish skin. Whoa. That's pretty cool. That's it's a bit like, spicy, yeah, I might need some is. sweat. That's a game changer. I can't believe I had that before. It's really good. Made with real salted eggs. Yeah, I think the hot, spicy seasoning and the salted egg together, 
That's a keeper. We're gonna yeah. put that right back here. That's a goodie. <laughs> 10 out of 10. What's next? This. I don't know what this is. I think the packaging is very curious. This little fella is Noodle. interesting. Noodle snack. This one is chicken wing flavored. You want some curious? No, you can't have noodle snacks. <laughs> it would though. It smells like instant noodles. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be like a ramen chip. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. Really interesting. You didn't, you didn't. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. It doesn't taste just like ramen. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's a bit different. Yeah. It's thinner than ramen, even though it looks like a bunch of ramen noodles or instant noodles kind of side by side. Mm -hmm. It's much thinner than when you just eat dried ramen noodle. I don't know if it tastes like chicken wings. But it definitely tastes like ramen or instant noodles. Like chicken Yeah, flavor. I think the difference is it's kind of sweet. Mm -hmm. Like not a lot of ramen is really sweet. No. Up next, fish cracker. I love the branding on this one. Just fish crackers, very vague. Are they crackers that taste like fish? Are they made of fish? Do you feed them to fish? I don't know. But on the back, it says best during watching TV or a movie, okay. picnics, break time, party time. All of the things we can't do right now. <laughs> yeah. Got a little vulture here. Yep. We got our second guest for the day. This is Milo. You hear him in all the videos in the background. Always meowing for snacks. I wonder if this is gonna be like a shrimp chip, because we've had those before, or shrimp crackers. Mm. Doesn't smell overly fishy. Looks really cr like no, it doesn't thick. Smell, it doesn't smell fishy at all. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's really, it's both dense and airy. It's really bready. Yeah. Interesting. It's not like a normal cracker at all. No. I wonder if these would be good if you put them in something or serve them with some kind of sauce. Like soup? Maybe. Because it is really crunchy and really bready. They're good. I don't think they taste like fish though. I wonder if they're meant to be eaten like this or... Oh, what are yeah. we missing? No, because it's for watching TV or... Or break time or party time yeah. or picnics. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't smell very fishy. Really crunchy. This one doesn't have much flavor, to be honest. No. It's like a really bready cracker. Yeah. Hi, sir. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, keep with the chips? Uh, okay. You gotta do the salty first, well, and then sweet for dessert. Yes. Okay, up next we've got a few different interesting variations of Lay's potato chips. Now, when we went to the Asian grocery store, they had tons of different flavors, like really bizarre things. And unfortunately, we did already open up one of the packs. <laughs> Our curiosity couldn't be contained. So we got these ones, which are Sakura and lychee flavor, but also in a champagne glass. We already tried this one and uh, <laughs> I don't like it. Well, let's refresh our memory. <laughs> It smells like a fine lady's perfume. <laughs> I don't know how they managed to do it, but the chip is like, it tastes carbonated. Yeah, there's definitely like something like a, on there. Yeah, but then it just tastes like perfume. It's not good. It's not terrible. It's not good. I'm not a fan of that one. But you'll notice the bag is almost empty, so. <laughs> how about these? White grape flavor, but like grape juice. White grape juice. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It smells like straight up Hubba Bubba grape flavored gum. It actually smells like grape. All right, let's go for it. Definitely better than the other one. Not perfumey. But this one also has that carbonated- A little bit. Type thing. Sodium bicarbonate, that's what it is. Baking soda. These aren't that bad. Still weird. Not that good. No, but definitely better. 
This one is probably gonna oh, yeah. be fire. I'm excited for this one. Yeah. A savory potato chip is always good. Yeah. Fried crab flavor. Ooh. Oh, that smells good. That's yeah. good. Do you wanna do the honors? Pretty crabby. I like that. It does have a quite a strong crab flavor. Who is their food scientist? I don't know who does this, but the flavors are really spot on. Although I think because I saw like red, I thought, oh, it's gonna be spicy crab. It's not spicy crab, it's just fried crab. It's just crabby crab. So here you go, you can have dinner, a drink, and then dessert. Just a little Milkis break. Brought to you by Milkis. It's great. It would better get sponsored by every Asian <laughs> Hawthorne stick. Yeah. I've never seen nor heard of this. What's oh, Hawthorne stick? It's like a little fruit, like it's red. It looks like a little apple almost in a way. Okay. Just that makes sense. You can throw one up on the yeah, like right here, like right here. Oh yeah, we'll put a hawthorn. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of apple-y flavor. It's hard to describe. It kind of tastes a bit apple-y, not as sour as some apples. It's definitely sweeter. It kind of reminds me of, you know those fruit to goes that we would eat as mm. kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really reminds me of that. It's got a bit more of a texture because mm -hmm. fruit to goes are really just soft and like sticky. Yeah, soft the whole way through. It's definitely less sticky. Like it's not sticky on the hands at all. I like that. Yeah, they're good. No. I have no idea what this is. All right, so up next, we have got this pack. There is zero English on here. The only word that I could read when I bought it is it was marketed as bergamot, which I don't know what that is. Some bergamot, what they make like Kelowna? Tom Ford bergamot. On the back, it just, it looks like flowers and I'm not sure if this is supposed to tell me how to eat it. If you know how to read any of the words on here, please let me know. I'd love to know what this says. Maybe I should use Google Translate. But yeah, really curious. I have no idea what this is. Feels like individually packaged items in here. Oh, uh, it might just be like a candy. It might be. Oh. Oh. Okay. Some bergamot for you. Mm. <laughs> it smells. It smells like Tom Ford. What on earth does that taste like? It tastes like perfume. Kind of like men's cologne almost. It's like it's a bit a musty. Weird, it like, okay, there's a bit of citrusy. Yeah. There's a lot of like perfuminess. Mm -hmm. But there's like a really strong, it like stays on your tongue like for a long time. Like really lingers. Yeah. Is that like a bitterness that's lingering? No, oh, I feel like my mouth has cologne in it now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it definitely tastes like it's the skin. Yeah. It's not the yeah. inside. It definitely is bitter, like the skin of a citrus or the pith or something like that. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Like I would say it's decently good. Yeah. But like. Like, would you buy this again? No, probably not. Yeah. I'm pretty excited for this one. Salted tamarind. Ooh. So nice and wrapped up. Beautiful. Oh, and it just comes little tiny individual tamarind pieces. It's really granulated. It's definitely potent. Yeah. Like a... Oh, what? Yeah, there's a seed. Oh, I haven't gotten the seed yet. I don't have a seed. Oh. <laughs> it's got the sourness of tamarind and like that sweetness, but then it's like... A bit it's salty? Covered, yeah, it's covered in salt. But it's quite sour. Like, have you ever had like Mexican candy? No. It's like, it it like kind of reminds me of that a little bit. I like how like balanced it is. I know that it seems like it's a lot of flavors all at once, yeah. but you just need a little bit to kind of get your sweet fix. Would not be a Asian snack test without some 
Pocky. Pocky is such a classic. We got two flavors of Pocky to try out today. One is chocolate banana, delicious. And one is just called couple of fruits. We could do almost just a Pocky taste test. There's yeah. so many. These, so these ones are actually imported from Japan. All right, let's see. Chocolate and banana. It just smells like artificial banana. It's, yeah, it smells like, uh, you know those machines where you used to put a coin in and turn them and those little fruit candies are coming? Yeah, with all the, the banana, different ones. It's like a banana and that. Chocolate banana. Not very chocolatey, very banana-y. Well, this one's really good. Which one's that? It's just, it's lemon and peach. It looks like it's got lemon on the outside and then like a peach flavored biscuit. For the most part, you kind of just taste the lemon, but that's really good. Mmm. Oh, ho, ho, ho. No. that's a lot of hockey. Final one? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So for this one, we're revisiting the Hawthorne, but this is a frozen dessert. Or at least it came frozen. We've let it thaw out a little bit. In China, they would push around like little carts. Yeah. And then they'd have these just like sticking out. Uh, they weren't frozen, but yeah, it was just the same thing. It's like you see these all over the place. And is it just fresh fruit on a stick? No, it's like, it's like a bunch of candy apples like on Oh, yeah. cool. So this one came frozen when we picked it up. It's really juicy. It's wrapped in what looks like like a rice paper yeah. or something, some yeah, kind of edible. When I've seen it in the past, it didn't have anything around, like wrapped. Yeah. Mmm. Right. It's kind of sour. It is sour. Whoa. That's good. That's I, really good. <laughs> pretty sour. That description of like a candy apple, that's yep. perfect. It's kind of hard to figure out exactly what the texture is because this is frozen. The inside is softer than apple for sure. Texture wise, it's that it's similar to a date. Yeah. It's it's like it's like an apple mixed with a date. Mm-hmm. Do you want to have some more? You want a last one? <laughs> Not anymore. That was a great introduction to some foreign snacks that I hadn't had before. Thank you so much for joining in what is not our kitchen. Next time I'll be back in the kitchen cooking up something delicious. If you liked having Ryan, our cameraman in here and you wanna see him in the kitchen, don't forget to like today's video. Comment down below what you wanna see me make next. Could be anything. If there's an ingredient that you're inspired by or you wanna learn a little bit more about, let me know. Don't forget to tag me on any and all social media and check out any of our last videos as well. Are you trying to get us a sponsorship deal? <laughs> Yo, Krusty's Mala Fish Skin. Yeah. You, you know. <laughs> you know where to find us. <laughs> At home. We can't go anywhere.